Hello everyone, it's me again, GW fan the softcore brony, welcome you back to Let's Play Philly Fantasy 6. And yeah, I'm not going to be singing opera this time like I did in Pony Fantasy. I thought about redoing that, but I just, I didn't have time to practice and put it all together, so. Ah. Y you, you forget, it's it's not the Princess Flash. It, it Well, the character in the original game also calls her the wrong name, but <laughs> it's part of the awful acting. Oh, so you're not uh, main royalty or anything, huh? <laughs> Strike up the band for unique battle music against the Maniac! And this fight with Scootaloo is really, really freaking easy. It's not terribly hard anyway. I'm gonna use Minotaur. You could use Aspic. Oh, I'm gonna summon. But Minotaur does almost the same amount of damage as Aspic, even though Maniac is specific, uh, specifically weak to fire and lightning. It's like 90 points less. <laughs> Plus she could do a nice double attack there. Oh, you missed. You could also use... Well, actually, no, you don't want to use Angle... Oh, I didn't need to summon again. She doesn't have enough MP to do that. Oh, well. She's practically dead anyway. Oops. Didn't mean to do that. You have Gigabolt? That's new. Oh, well, you're basically dead anyway. Uh, Cure. Ow. I was hoping you'd do your other move, but oh well, that'll work. Yeah, you're dead. But yeah, don't use Angle Form for this because she absorbs water. <laughs> two bits! You two bit piece of. Oh well. Hey. The heck? Was it? I guess so. <laughs> I'm gonna strip her naked! Why not? It's like, wait! What a twist! However, <laughs> will our production continue? Uh, you freaked out about this a bit differently than in the original where the producer totally went with it as if it was part of the act. You're kind of ruining the moment there, Octavia. <laughs> I gotta admit. I like the music, though. That fight back there is not terribly difficult even without Scootaloo, though. As you can see, her HP is not too high, so... As long as you can withstand, because she can do, like, multi-target uh, hair whips again, which actually does a fair bit of damage, I think in, like, the 150s-ish somewhere, but... Otherwise, it's not too bad of a fight. I don't remember her doing Gigabolt before, though. <laughs> Is it? <laughs> I'm so sick of all this! Yeah, we have more important things to think about than identity theft, I guess. Besides, so Chrysalis seems happy, and the audience seems happy. It's not like she's harming anybody. That was more than 10 seconds, Dash. What the heck? <sighs> Dash, we know about that thing. That's how we prove that we're us. You butt into that really fast. Well... Actually, no, Spike was available back in uh, 
back in town or back in Griffinstone, but we didn't know about this then. <laughs> Yeah, our wings are useless in real life, so. And Scoot says nothing. Because she could potentially be thrust back at the belt at this point or something. So the game just doesn't account for her being able to say anything from here on out, pretty much. <laughs> well, yeah. Why aren't you? You seem pretty eager in some of those alternate futures that we saw back in Season 5. Oh, oh really? Anyway, we have... Well, Celestia took the lead for some reason. <laughs> I don't know why, but... Yeah, we have the... Well, I might as well keep it like this for now. Party back together. I'll re-equip them later. Well, yeah, I'll do it later. But, uh, anyway. Oh, yeah? Yeah, about that! We'll be talking about that a little bit later. Not for any bad reasons, just we'll be talking about that later. Because interestingly enough, it clears up a plot point in a certain light. I think unintentionally, well, but that's what we'll be talking about. Yeah, aren't you worried about that? But what? Come on, Dash. Language, princess! Language! Maybe. Cadence, do you have a different color scheme all of a sudden? You look brighter to me for some reason. Huh. I, I don't... I, am I just, like, misremembering what she looked like a moment ago, or... Huh. I must be going crazy here. Whoa! No! She did! What? <laughs> That's weird. <laughs> okay, yeah, she definitely had a slightly different color scheme back there. What was up with that? <laughs> anyway, what about Fate? No. Why not? Now, even if Celestia is not here, she'll just randomly have a bit. A very particular bit. Yeah, this is crazy! his expression when he does that. Huh. Yeah, two-headed coin. Where have we seen that before? I believe at about this point, if you have both Celestia and Luna, Luna will comment on the fact that she realizes that Celestia used this coin on her in their flashback before, but it's... Just, like, one extra bit of dialogue. I didn't really feel like going out of my way to show it real quick, <laughs> so... <laughs> Trollestia. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, prankster. Uh, 28 pranks later, and you're not liking it so much, though. That's true, it is kind of a long flight. <laughs> Ah, uh, yeah, I'll be talking about that later. Ah, uh, 
And apparently she joined the Wonderbolts at some point, even though this takes place in between uh, Seasons 2 and 3, or at the beginning of Season 3, or what have you. Hmm. Yeah, basically just to protect the ship, if you will. And then we get this little scene that does take a little while. <laughs> that shows us, actually, well, we're actually traveling south. It's kind of interesting that the Crystal Empire is in the, like, southernmost part of the world map, considering where it is in the, like, actual Equestria map. Actually, if you account for where Canterlot is on this map, then it would basically be where Naish is. <laughs> Which, coincidentally, is an ice country. <laughs> but, uh... I guess that would be kind of hard to implement. We're just going to assume that the bot de the southern continent is just the... Well, the map looping around, and that's actually north or something. That's what. That's how I'm going to take it. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to actually re-equip the party a little bit real quick. And uh, be right back. Alrighty. Uh, I've uh, re-equipped the party a little oddly, you might notice. I don't have Scoot dual wielding. I have a reason for that. You will see why. And I also have Cadence fully equipped for speed. You will see why <laughs> soon enough. Not for around here, necessarily, but, uh... And then, of course, they've got their Esper's one. I have Cadence specifically with Parasol because she's going to be getting a level up, like, right now, pretty much. So is Celestia, but she's already got Star Swirl. So, anyway, as you can also see, we're pretty darn hurt right now. So, we just want to go back to the airship real quick, because we can get healed for free. And also, if necessary, we can buy some items. The thief shoes, if you need those. I'm actually haven't really checked to see what I can steal from around here for the most part. But there is at least one thing I know. And then we also have zebra potions available to purchase for once. Kind of crazy, but they are so expensive, I don't really like purchasing those. So, well, if you need them, there they are. Anything there. Anyway, here we have a new town, Manhattan. Hey, Babs, you're here. That's kind of cool. That's a new sprite that wasn't there before. Item shop. Uh, all this stuff if you need it. Harmonizers again, which you won't need. Eye drops you actually could potentially need here. Actually, I am going to purchase a couple just for the heck of it there. I might actually need those for once. So, you'll see why. I'm actually going to intentionally give uh, Scootaloo blindness. You'll again see why later. <laughs> You look kind of like Derpy without wings from the side. Oh, really? Yeah, we shouldn't go there right now. It is crawling with soldiers. <laughs> What's the point? Ah. Uh, glad to see that line never changes, no matter what version of the game. I'll go in there eventually. It's actually going to lead around to some other place, but I'll go around this way first. I have a weapon shop. I don't believe there's anything new here. I actually thought this was where we could first buy steel spears. I didn't realize they were in the other area. This is the first time we can also buy these, which are another throwing item specifically for Fluttershy. Well, obviously the throwing item. So we're not going to need those right now because we can't possibly have Fluttershy in the party right now. But otherwise, here's all this stuff if you feel you need it. I need? I don't even need I really don't need that. <laughs> it's barely stronger than the steel claw. The Steel Claw has stat boosts, so... Really? Huh. Interesting. Cider Cup. Sweet. There's actually a couple items to be had around here, I believe. Hey, Blue Octavia. Why so blue? Oh, yeah? Funny you should say that despite wearing that helmet. Well, it's not really the helmet, but yeah, we can't. There's a port over here, but we can't get there. Fortunately, no one will try to fight us 
while we're here. Armor shop. There's... I don't believe there's anything new here, is there? Uh... Steel... Oh, yeah, this is a new helmet, but it's barely... Actually, is it new? Yeah, it's barely stronger than what we've got, though. And, yeah, if you need it, you still got the lights along. And whatnot. I've got uh, a couple things there that we were already equipped with. So, nothing new there. Treasure! Darn. Treasure! Darn. Empire already looted the place, apparently. Makes sense. Hey. Really? Oh, I can't imagine that happening. Surely that won't be important or anything. Anyhow, before I go into the relic shop, talk to this guy as he gets in my way. I can see him walking into my path before I get to the end. I can totally see it. You're in the process, dude. Anyway, magical radiation. Yeah. Monsters around here actually have magic attacks for once, which is why I want Cadence to have uh, all that speed so that she can ruin it for some of the battles around here. You didn't walk in my way. Thank you, dude. Apple fritter. Nice. In. Obviously, we have an airship right nearby. We don't need to sleep here. And nothing else in here. I just wanted to make sure there wasn't a clock or something. I was pretty sure there wasn't, but... Oh. Actually, isn't there somebody walking over here? Ah, there is. I won't get to talk to this person otherwise. You look like Minty. Ah. I see. Anyway. Don't do it, you jerk! <laughs> I knew it! I knew you were gonna do it! Move! Move! Get out of the way! Stupid narrow hallways! Jerk! No! No! Don't get into the door! Go away! Run! Run! Ah. <laughs> Anyhow. Relic shop. We have some interesting new items. Ruby rings contains fire magic. Sapphire ring contains ice magic. Citrine ring, lightning, and this cure magic. You can use these to, to learn all the basic uh, fire, ice, light... Was ice? Yeah, ice, lightning, and cure spells, if you so choose. Uh, for the time being, I want to buy two sapphire rings and two citrine rings. If you did not bring Scootaloo along, you'll want to get three each. This is the point in the game where there's a whole ton of stuff that we're going to want to buy. So, this, I think, notably is like, yeah, these also uh, give you protection against each of the elements. This will absorb fire, ice, lightning, and holy elemental magic. I believe it's... One of the only pieces of equipment in the whole game that protects you against holy in any manner. <laughs> so this could be a really important item later on in the game. Otherwise, they also have a weakness to their opposite elements. Uh, I think it was... Uh, well, I'll look at them in a moment. In fact, I'll look at at least the ones I've got right now. Let's see, Sapphire Ice. Yeah, weak to fire there. Anyone can equip them. They also have a little bit of a stat boost there. Yeah, teaches Ice at a rate of times five. All these teach their respective element at a rate of times five, unless there's a bug somewhere. Ah, uh, yeah, weak to Earth. We literally never have to worry about that if you want to equip this. I'll be equipping these later, not now. This is for much later purposes. I'll also want to be buying those ruby rings eventually, but not now. It's really expensive. What's with the upbeat music around here? Because of cupcakes? No. Because, well, apparently they decided to entertain the soldiers, or maybe they're being forced to. Whoopee. Welcome. And, yeah, they're whistling and doing stuff. Well, thank you. <laughs> Uh, maybe you guys are actually willing to do this. <laughs> oh. Yeah, kinda. <laughs> this isn't a fraternity, what the hey? <laughs> Anyhow, that's Manhattan, and I forgot to turn my timer on, dang it. How long have I been here? <laughs> oh well, I'll just go through each of these places, that'll be good enough. Now, besides the Empire, which is in the dead center of, of the continent there, you can see that right there, we have three other towns, and also that, I don't know, some base or whatnot that's way over that way. You don't want to go there right now, but I do want to go to these other towns. Go straight up this way, there's the Empire. There's new enemies around here, 
including the Wyvern, which, despite being in the air, is not a flying monster. I don't know why. But anyway, Minotaur, really powerful here. Let's see what you attack. That guy, actually, these guys are pretty much all central to magic for the most part, but yeah, I don't know why those guys are not uh, magical based. You guys can use some kind of magic attack, can't you? I could have sworn you could. Scoot! Actually, let's use the, the uh, scammer. That actually might be... Never mind. Might be a little bit more... Okay, fine. So you guys aren't going to do anything. Is it you guys? Wyvern? No, it's not you. Wait, is it? No, it's not you. I'm thinking of a different enemy. I was thinking of uh, one that that's uh, good for Scootaloo, but it's not these guys. Oh, right, you absorb that. That's why I don't normally use that. <laughs> oh, well. Whatever, he apparently wasn't going to use anything anyway. Thanks, Celestia. Probably should have used more chainsaws there, but oh, well. I could have sworn that was an enemy that I could use that against, but oh, well. Celestia learns the ways of life as well. She gains a level, and I actually want to switch her and flash up now. Flash, did you learn? You just learned Cure, right? Yeah, I don't, I'm not worried about you learning other stuff at the moment. I actually want you to start learning Cure too, as soon as possible. For later purposes, you go ahead and learn the spell since you're most of the way there. You're doing fine on Bolt 2. And it's going to be a little while before Flash levels up. Yeah, I honestly don't care if you get some magic bonus or not. There's the Crystal Empire if you need to go there, but I'm going to go up north first to the other town. Ah, I knew there was a couple more new enemies. I think these are one of the only enemies in the whole game that can cast Berserk on you. Not that I really care, but... Uh... Yeah, you use the scammer this time, since I'm not trying to do crazy stuff with Cadence. Eh, should've known. Oh well. I don't really need to sit up like this now, but I am... Oh yeah, and... Oh, I should use the chainsaw. Oh well. I forgot, Scammer also gives you haste, which is nice. Too bad it's only temporary. I'll get a better opportunity. Wow. I'll get a better opportunity to show that, that off later. <laughs> so let's see, learn Shell. I don't care about any buffs that are not haste too. Because buffs are all single target in this game otherwise. Oh, Scan. I think that Star Swirl is like the only Esper that teaches Scan. Which actually is kind of important in the next area. <laughs> wow! One shot! Dang! Go Scootaloo! I'm taking a lot of damage out here. I mean the next uh, boss, that is. Or a boss in the upcoming area. It's good to have Scan. Sort of. More on that later as well. Oh, really? What was this town? I just glossed over it. Anyhow, item shop, nothing really interesting here. Same st I think this has, like, all the exact same stuff as uh, Manhattan, actually. How much does the end cost? I could kind of use it. Wow, you're expensive. Screw that. I'll let Cadence heal us instead, since she's going to be doing a lot of runicking in the near future. Not so much around here. I... Apparently, the enemies aren't going to eat. Well, there is one specific enemy that uses some magic. Fine! Really? Oh, really? Maybe more on that later. What are you doing out there in the trees, dude? Apparently, threatening random passerbys. Yeah, this should have all the exact same stuff as Manhattan, so we don't really care about the pot, right? No, I don't think there's anything in this town, in fact, that we can actually get. <laughs> I'm just here to look at it. Ah. Oh. Oh, I see. I don't think there's anything down here. Nope. Don't get in my way. You're the one. <laughs> are you just, like, mocking your mother there? Because that's really mean if you are. Yeah, same stuff. Oh, well, we can't get the Gale Chaperon here. Oh, why don't I have that written down? Huh. 
Oh, this is Van Hoover. I don't think the room bit was actually available before here in earlier versions, because I have it down in my notes to buy that, but I actually want to get uh, two more Gale Chaffrons. Or, uh, Scootin... What's his name? Flash. <laughs> so, that'll be nice. Because, yeah, I already have you equipped the Gale Chaffron there, so... Nice for you, too. Alrighty. Sweet. Let's see, how much money do I have left? <laughs> Plenty. Nice. I will need it, even though I'm not going to need it as much. But we can get a steel dagger here. <laughs> That's actually pretty strong, considering it's just a dagger. Yeah, nothing interesting there. So, all right. Awesome. Whatever. I'm not going to bother talking to other soldier. Anyway, the only other town is way, way over there, as you can see on the map. Definitely better to use Minotaur than Scammer. So yeah, let's check out that other town way over there next time on Let's Play Philly Fantasy 6. Arrivederci.